And you have a new book that's coming out soon, I believe, uh, your second book of the year on Hudson music. Yeah, yeah, there's two, there's two this year. The first one was uh, Bars, Beats and Building Blocks. And it's kind of, uh, actually my first book was with Hudson and that was uh, Indian Rhythms for the drum set. But that was a very detailed and in-depth, quite, uh, not complicated, but, you know, a little bit, maybe a little bit complicated here and there in terms of, you know, where I aimed it. And so the second one, Bars, Beats and Building Blocks, is kind of breaking down some of those units into a more simplified approach. So people can take, um, you know, different components and, and more readily and easily apply it to the drum set or other percussion. But the other thing I've done with that book is instead of using the syllables, the phonetics that you find in, in uh, Indian rhythm work, um, I've used numbers instead. So because I found that it, with a lot of Western drummers, um, they're the kind of sometimes you get a reluctance as soon as you hear the, the phonetics there. Some people are fascinated by it and some people think, oh, well, I don't want to learn that because they hear the phonetics and they I don't want to learn that. I just want to play the drum set. So to be able to take my goal, actually, with the first book, uh, Indian Rhythms for the Drum Set, really, was to kind of take some of the core components, some of the core um, rhythmic systems and, and the way that they would do stuff, you know, within Indian rhythm and apply that to the drum set. So extract those concepts and apply them to the drum set. But one of the things that I used in that process was the syllables. So with the new book, I've kind of got a simplified uh, group, a batch of material, but I've used uh, counting in, in, instead. Okay. Can yeah. you give us a short example of the difference between the phonetics and the numbers? Well, for example, if you were to do, you know, three, three, two in a, in a row, so takita, takita, dina, takita, takita, dina, takita, ta, and then, but if you were to count it, obviously one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So people can, I think people, if they've not learned any Indian music, they can understand the concept a little bit, you know, uh, faster. And so for me, all that matters in, 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 in education, all that matters is that you get the message across to the recipient you know that's all that matters it doesn't matter if you have to slightly change the way you present something some of the time um, you know you have to adjust from student to student in a, in a personal lesson uh, scenario and in terms of a you know a written publication or, or you know an online lesson or something like that then you've got to try and think about you know you've got a wide selection of people from from beginners to to advance and you've got to try and work you know go through the stream of that to try and give something for everyone.